Hey guys, so you have a 1985 carousel gumball machine and somehow it doesn't turn anymore. The turn gets stuck, it, you can't put any more coins in there and something's wrong. So here's a quick DIY on how to fix it. So do it at your own risk, but of course, you know, I just fixed it, so it should be pretty cool. Uh, you need a pair of pliers and a pair of screwdrivers. Uh, Phillips screwdriver is fine. What happened is that the tongue actually got um, smashed by whoever turned the dial too hard and basically got bent a little. So you're gonna go in there and bend it back. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the top cap, you know, with a um, flathead screwdriver, take off that little nut just by hand, this hand tighten it. You'll take off the uh, glass globe and also the two washers or these uh, plastic washers that hold the globe so it doesn't crack the glass. Um, and you're gonna take, take apart or take off those, um, the hopper the, of, and the hopper of the gumball machine. So it comes out pretty easy. I'm doing this after work because I left this thing at work, never had time to bring it home, so why bring the entire thing home? Anywho, long story short, you slide out the entire coin mechanism and drive unit which is pretty straightforward, it goes straight up. And that time you could also take off the dust cap on the um, on that slider tray. So that's pretty cool too. You could probably take this moment to actually clean all the stuff since you know if you ran so much of this um, M&Ms or gumballs, there's probably a lot of dust on it. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take off that, um, that tongue piece. And to do that, you don't really need to take apart everything, but I did because you could probably put some a little bit of grease on the on that uh, turn piece as well. It's actually all sandwiched in. You want to take off this um, sprocket. I'm not sure if it's sprocket or gear, but take it off. It don't don't put too much strength, too much pressure on it while taking it off. You don't want anything to break. And all these um, metal pieces are all sandwiched together. If you take off the back piece, just watch out for that spring because that uh, brass other brass piece actually locks things into place. Um, just to look at it, it's really, really cool. It's very simple in design. It basically has a latch and the latch closes after every turn. The coin goes in the center and basically allows it to keep on going. Watch out for that spring. You don't want to lose that. But in case you do, that's how it looks like. Now you can use that pair of uh, pliers and just basically grab that uh, brass. Um, you gotta take that brass tongue off and along with that little spring, the black spring holds it down. But what happens is that, that that tongue actually got bent back, so it goes into it. So what you need to do is bend it up so that your coins can pass through it through it again. As you can see, there's little teeth and marks on it because I bent it back upward. Um, but of course, take it off of the um, mechanism before you do that. So after you've done that, try it a few with a few coins and make sure it runs through smoothly and then put everything back together in reverse uh, motion or um, order. So that's really about it. That's it. Then once everything works, just clean stuff up. Just You might want to put some grease on that on the um, gear and drive area, uh, but put everything back together. Make sure everything's clean. Don't mix. Don't have anything dirty or the grease anywhere close to your food. So or the candy, so that's just make sure that's all clean first. Um, and replace the cap and fill it back up with candy and you are done. Like I said, you know, when, if someone turns that knob too hard, it might bend that little tongue, so all you need to do is rebend it back. That's it, there you go. Please like, subscribe, and click for more. Click the bell button for more notifications on my channel and you know, leave the comments below if you have a 1985.